Welcome to another Form Titan video and in this video we'll talk about how to work with conditional spacing. So I will do like a very simple demonstration so the point is clear. We'll get this text box and we'll call this 1 and then we'll get some text areas here like this. Call this one 2 and this one 3. And then I'll get a button like over here. Doesn't really matter what the button is for now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the spacing between all is enough, which is zero. So now I'm going to go and write some conditions. I'm going to say if current field is not empty, then go ahead and show me number two and number three. Just like that. Apply, save, preview. So if I type something here, great, these two show up. Okay. Now the point of conditional spacing is this, that when your conditions are coming back, and for example, let's say you want a bigger space between two and three, this is where you can do conditional spacing really nicely. So to give you an example, let's say I'll click on two, I'll go to style, size and position, and in the conditional spacing, let's say I'll put in 50 pixels. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how this looks like. So right now this is how it looks before and after that this is how it's going to look now. So if I type in 12 you can see there's now 50 pixel space between uh, 2 and 3 and you can go even further you can do 3 you can go to style size and position and do conditional spacing of 50 here as well and then now look what happens that 50 there and also 50 there. So this is how easy it is to add conditional spacing to manipulate your elements um, for a better experience at the end of the day. So you know I can I can even now even go here and get rid of my conditional spacing put zero and same here like this and then if I preview you can see that now all are aligned perfectly together. Okay, and that's the point of conditional spacing that you can manipulate any element based on however many pixels you specify. You just need to click on it, go to size and position off that element, look at the conditional spacing, and then modify it. And this is how it's done.